Fnatic stocks all the way to the roof as of late, but Carmine Core have a point to be proving, but Alpha straight away going to be finding Martin after a very aggressive beginning. Oh, they're not slowing down, are they? They've just, they've just kept Back going. Oh, but look at all these trades. It's, it's a 4v2 already. They got, they got the info on Shin here. We found him. Toxin Shin, does he get the time? Did Bowser not see him? If you thought he did, right? But he's been given a little bit of room to play here. Boaster might be dead, but do they check? Surely, well, now they know. And now Boaster should. Away. He's not. Oh my God. Surely not. <gasps> Shin, going back for that? Okay, it, it, he's being a nuisance. He's being, you know, a little bit of a problem, but ISO is ISO, so Durka wins that fight. And now it's all in the right. He does at least have the Sheriff, though. That shield is going to be the one thing that stops that Sheriff, though. Here comes the triple peak. Swinging on the corner, shield goes through, and yeah, Durka rewarded. Seeing him find real value here on the ISO. Spike should go down. Maybe a little bit of chip damage there, but they should be able to get away. Chronicle. Oh, oh he's in a bit of Not trouble. Not taking the molly damage yet. No! Oh. Mistimed. That's gutting, but it's three players still here. Alpha, Boaster, and Durka, two heavy hitters. Both of them, one away from an ult as well here. What do they have in the post plant? Shields up. We go, Durka, ready for a bit of a scrap himself. A poster of Durka in unison. This would be heartbreak for Carmine Core. They cannot be seen losing two VXs, and today they do not. They keep three alive. I like this from Magnum. A bit audacious, yes, but uh, he might have lost the chance on that. They're just slipping away, trying to be pro pro proactive, productive, get ahead of it, but now they're down to three. This might be a little too far. Inching up. Shield still active. Right, is gonna have to pull off some heroics here. The top of the head? I don't think he did. Maybe. I don't. Uh, now he certainly does, and a good connection on Chronicle. Down to 14, so he's gonna fall away from this. Still gonna confirm this play is here. A little dance of the dragons there, the, you know, the white hair. And... I'm not up to date on the latest episode. It's okay, well. I, I mean, need to catch it's, up. I need it's... to catch up. Big fan, what can I say? But Tomasi's kind of been played in a bit here. Are they diligent? They, they are, but there's still some blood to be drawn, and he's still alive. For a second, I thought he might have got a second there, but no. It's four standing, the spike's down, and Shin's not really got away into this. Getting away with his life here will be from KC. Fnatic is locked into the zone. Yeah, cornered in on this one. Having to fight their way forward, and the rate's not allowing it. Good shot towards Alpha. Three more to find. Boaster did make it towards yellow. He's kind of gone a little bit unchecked, but it doesn't matter too much here. Dizzy going to go up, make it an issue, and the reveal on top. Gorgeous work. Lovely synergy there. Critical, just not going to get played at all. A 1v5 is a lot to ask for, especially when the map, as we can see, is as small as it currently is. The barrel has already given away the game. And the slow creeping death is on the way of Tomasi. Oh, he's had a look. <laughs> yeah. Gave it a go for a second's Last worth of value, but they still seconds. have the thrash coming. Oh, the timing on that. Tomasi gets it right. The roll of the dice was good. And now Chronicle having to take space here. He's got to control a lot of this, keep some safety on the plant. But look at the lovely detain. I think that caught two there. You'll be happy with that. Durka getting away unscathed. Still has his ult as well. Lockdown going to come in and clear the site. But this is a curious effect. Alpha now pressuring back lines, showing presence. Great pressure. For the shot. Whoa, it's great from the right. Saw a leg out of place and he took it. And he wants at least to get half on this one and he should be able to do that. Don't think much to deny. Does he get another go? It looks like he will here. Second think? smoke gonna come in. He's absolutely no. done it. Brilliant right under the noses of Fnatic. Can't mind core. Keeping five standing on the defuse. Get his one for one. And then they are getting out of the sight as well. They are trying to play this it's really on the oh. edge. And he got two. his man. Okay, Martin again. Tries to go for the break on it for the wide swing, and Dirk has got him again. Double check, and he's dead, but they've got the sight now under pressure. Magnum, though, going to creep a little closer. They haven't got full control here. Oh, but right out of the sky, Hero takes down the rate, and it's going to be on Tomasi and Shin, and they've no step towards the sight now. Swatted out of the sky like a fly. Tomasi, Shin, they need to save. Shin's been in this position before. Fnatic, just letting the clock tick down a little bit before they start chasing Alpha. Already on the hunt. How fast they may progress towards it. So you can see the paranoia looking towards sight. He's worried about it. Quick turn on the dime, but a great shot. Takes away Alpha, avenging his fallen teammate. And now the site's open. They got that info as well that everyone's there. Teammates 
rotating over. That spike is going to get planted. There's nothing to do about it. Yeah, but they can't remove Narate. He's still going to find damage. They're trying to find a fair fight here. And you can see Tomasi no. having to take the attention, Narate. That felt unnecessary. Giving them a chance now, a 3v2. Boaster and Hero, Boaster one off from the ult, another kill. That's on board. Hero still has Dizzy, still has Mosh. Is Boaster trying to go around the world? No way he's got the time for that. No, not at all. And an individual fight on that one, but the Dizzy didn't quite catch towards Boaster, but the position given away, a great shot. Oh, oh Boaster! Oh, oh, oh. Felt like he couldn't quite believe it himself, but free up the space for the rest of Fnatic to try and gap close towards, but it is just Durka on an island. No one else was that pushed up. So Magnum with, not, I don't want to say a freebie, but it tees up Narrate for a comfortable follow-up. Controlling the site well here. Boaster trying to do some serious damage. He's managed to get away with his life so far. Down a 30, tagged up, sure, but still living. But it's three of them left alive here. Alpha, Boaster, and Chronicle. And already that map getting a little bit smaller. No Shin still patrolling around, making sure they can't easily pivot away with someone's eyes being on this. With that up from Alpha pinning the back of the site, and if they decide to transition back to middle, could really punish Shin here. But Narrate, one kill away from his dash again, on the strongest line on the site. That little double stack towards Maze as well. They might have to scramble out of that, but actually gets dealt with. And the follow-up punish from Narrate is just perfect. He's really in control here. And he's got confidence in Magnum be able to support him on that push-up. They've really got this one kind of sewn up here, it feels. They've got that rhythm down. Four versus one, 20 seconds left. Alpha has to save this. I don't think he's shown this op yet though. They're about to discover it right now. Shin taking that space, saying you're not gonna be able to save. And that goes, there goes the op, but. Yeah, double tap gonna be initiated and go for the swing on this. Nice attempt, but a good trade from Tomasi. He's under so much pressure in middle right now. He's got players towards your kitchen, towards your lower side of middle. But Alpha, catching Martin kind of drifting over towards pipes, maybe trying to find that information. That could be a fumble and a mistake that's gonna cost them here. Let's see, we're into a 3v3. That spike being down is still a problem. And that's what you were talking about. That false sense of security. Narrate was on the case the entire time. Keeping that line locked down. 25 seconds now. They've got Chronicle. How long does he have until that dart's back up? 12 more seconds. He's trying to, I don't know, I think either he sell a fake, fake or something. With the dart, but, but no. Uh, Boaster's coming back. I thought he was going to go up maze with that Viper's Pit and try to do something, but they're committing to be here. 12 seconds left. Dart going in right now, but the rotation already here. This is back to the wall. Valorant here. Shin so close by. They've already got a man towards Four seconds. Snowman. Boaster has taken down a raid, so it's game back on, but they've got a player nearby, and there's nothing more to be... Sunset up next. The unknown quantity with Fnatic, but to focus here. It's Alpha to draw blood first, and the shot misses for Narrate, and we're going to start seeing that pressure building. Already Dizzy invested, forcing him back away from Yellow, but a far more Proactive start. Oh, oh, big pick. Right from downtown across the map. Chronicle's been dropped. We're going to need a bailout round from Durka or Alpha or Hero or someone. But Martin going uncleared. Oh, I thought Durka was dead then, but no plants in. Not to be denied this time. They know where that operator is. Martin isolating Alpha. Hi, Dizzy. Counter all considered. And oh dear, he's detained. Do they want to go for this punish, one? They can't. No, they, they, it looked like Durka tried Why? to, but that was too far. He got it. Oh my god, Hero. A 1v3 is a lot to do. And he ain't going to get it done. Carmine Core. They've got to keep their attention split, though. Otherwise, it's going to be full focus here. Shin's going to see at least a little bit of pressure, enough to call for the cavalry to come back in. We are seeing that mid pressure dealt with. That's Martin taking down Alpha. And Shin's going to double down on That's gorgeous work from Shin. And now Chronicle and Hero in a tough situation. Shin had an absolutely belting round. Carmine Core looking very strong. But he's got to be feeling confident after the start in this. But very pacey. And a rate down to five. But he's still deadly as ever. Takes out Hero. And they're still pressuring. You've got to keep in mind that Shin is still making progress on that B side. That's going to be an interesting one. He continues on that pathing here. Because Fnatic are still holding this down. They're willing to brawl on it this time. And Chronicles Fight caught Martin. Eight. We're down to a 4v3. And this feels a little bit disjointed from Carmine Core. But they're still on the side and they're still trying to pressure. But Narrate feels like he's about to be sacrificed here. Carmine Core, all they have to do is live right now. Tamazi already hightailing that spike back. Positioning from Shin. Oh my god, 35 HP. That's all he's got to work with. They seem aware no. of it. Fnatic reading it really well. Maybe noting it early. Maybe feeling it felt weird. There was such a gap that they backed away so confidently. And now the problem becomes the HP. Narrate on five. And Tomasi, yeah, he's sitting pretty, but they go for a double pump here. I mean, they're trying to. It's not a bad call. 
Tomasi doesn't know how left. free it is, though. So by the time he gets there, they could have rotated back unless Narate hits a worldy shot. And he's got the chance. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> Lucky, but ouch. Just smacks <laughs> his shins on the way over, but it's fine. He's still alive. Five HP, and he's still being a nuisance. The readjust, do they expect this? They don't! Chronicle gets his head taken off, and he'll be gutted with that. It's a 2v2. Spike's now in. And is he still going to find more? Surely not. You've got to say that one's boasters. But a 1v2 is more than possible, more than doable. What does Tomasi do? He's had all the freedom in the world to reposition, and he's opted for this. It could be a one and done. It could be a one and trade. How diligent are oh, Fnatic they are to the last second there. Double swing on it. Alpha and boasters stay together. Whoa, Durka right out in the open. Just caught, trying to get to that Turret. close. Again. How the hell did that one happen? Alpha went for a mid-fight. That's a six-man getting a kill again this game. That's actually nuts. I know our EVS team is absolute god tier, so I hope we catch <laughs> that one on the replay. So there was obviously the support as well to it. There was an assist coming out, so I want to see how that one worked to actually make that happen. But as it stands, we're going to be asking the question once again. Who can then step up from Fnatic here to do some sort of damage? Chronicle, Boaster, and Hero are going to be behind the wheel no matter where they go. Magnum's lingering behind over at Hey. I wonder if he's waiting for Chronicle to pop his drone so he can get spotted and then kind of sell that pressure. Or if he's just waiting for his dart to come back online to use his dart, get information at A. But here, the walk push, Boaster. Oh, but he's only got one. Narrate's taking him down. You kind of wanted a little bit more from that. Yeah, they get the info, but they're still not even that certain. You can see the Magnum, excuse me, Chronicle is still lingering around here. And his hero drifting straight through middle, but plants in. Rand ain't going to find much here. You've got to say, you were expecting Fnatic to walk through here smelling like roses. But they're going to be suffering. Alpha's gone down, and Boaster's only got a sheriff, and he's going to be overwhelmed, run through, and straight towards the site. And going to take all that space right off the back of it. You can hear these steps. Durka, yeah, he's close, but he's got no idea Narrate's this far up as well. Plant is in. Does anyone give him a fight? Surely not. No need to. Can wait this one out a little longer. If they give him a fight, he might be able to pop his ulti and make it a three versus three. But Narrate, again, they didn't think about this position. They had no idea he could get that far, so Hero goes down in a blink of an eye. And you've got to save, surely. There's nothing else you can achieve in this round. Keeping those rifles up is huge, and I expected the timeout here rather than the next round, but Fnatic are running out of options and running out of rounds to depend on. A little bit of reserve credits to be able to use and spend on that next round, but you're right. Attacked on both sides of the map. Hunter's Fury on top going to be sent through. Already plants there. 1v1 is on. He's got Tomasi. Now he's had a good record this map so far, and he's kept it up. Now, right in the meantime, found Boaster, and they're looking to pressure back towards the site. Can they get the follow up pick here? Hero, he struggled with Magnum earlier. This time he's got him. Fnatic taking the right steps towards the site here. Still pressure to be cleared. Shin being one of them. Good trade for Alpha. Double down from Chronicle, and it's all on Martin. This man can be a monster, though. Dizzy sent up. Double swing. He's not got it this time. Chronicle there on the defuse. That Tamazi jump spot again. That info. Oh, but Chronicle. Claim the rate. Good okay. trade for Magnum. Here comes that thrash, though. You've got to find big, big value. Did it catch? Did it spot? They're trying to swarm the site now. This is where it gets all a bit dangerous, all a bit messy. But Magnum finding so much value as both are left in a 1v3. The numbers are against him, and so is the time. You've got to be feeling he's about to pull the plug on this. It's going to be 12, and Carmine Core have been looking outrageously good here, having all the answers they needed. Threading the needle well here. They don't get spotted. They have no idea what's around the corner. Now they do, and Durka wants it. He wants a chance at this. He's absolutely chomping at the bit, and he's not stopping. He didn't have time to even reload. Uh, just too tunnel visioned. And again, look at the numbers now. It's a 4v2. Alpha and Boaster, no real chance to even use the ultimates that they've had in the back pocket. Carmine Corp. Yeah, a little broken, a little bruised here. A little lower on HP. But in all the right places, with all the right numbers still standing, we're going to need a round from one of these two. Alpha certainly capable. We've seen marvelous work from Boaster. But Alpha's been spotted. You can see them waiting for him. Oh, the timing. He reads it like he can see it. Boaster clears out as well. But now it's down to Alpha in a 1v2. But look at the HP. Shin down a little lower. Narrate going to be backing away. They've got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. and the setup. map is open for them. His setup's on A. They got the mollies there. The alarm up for the screens push. The turret from middle. Alpha, are you going to reactivate these? He's not in the range. Mollies. 
When you hear the noise, you're way too far away. This this, this could be a missed chance. There it is. Oh, oh beautiful time. That was a random time. timing, too. Beautiful time on the stall. They can get the plant, but he's got to know now. He has to know now. Plant's in. And now it becomes brutal. Now it's the unknown. Where are these two players? Oh, Still got one. info. That's pretty big. He's got his lockdown. Just going to pop that in as well for good effect. Waits for the push. This man can be ice cold. And they respect it enough. They back away. It's planted for it. Felt. It is planned for Nest. Alpha, what can you do here? Yeah, but it's Alpha, the Wonder Kid himself. He's looking for a fair fight, but he's not being given one. Might be able to stretch that from the front of the site as well. Second tap. They gotta respond. Shin goes in, and Shin dies. Now, right now in the 1v1, he flies in! And it's job done! Come, Einkor! Oh no, why, why, why? Boaster, Boaster. I don't think we need to be doing this. It seems unnecessary. Now they are dead, surely dead and gone. Dirk is still living as a surprise, but he's, got, he's gonna be dead to a bounding Shin. And Fnatic, if they just held those positions, if they just waited, you felt like it could have been so much better for them. But come, Einkor will be loving that. Two picks at the very start. And they've still got about a minute to play with. Or picked up. KC, here's that market door close. Wonder if they're gonna clear out middle first before they start moving over, but instantly they move over to A. Fnatic, that's where Hero's set up. He's got that tripwire. He's got that camera for that post plant. They've got that Astro Star, which does nothing because Boaster is down. <laughs> but four players alive for a KC, 30 seconds left. 30 they have that boom bot, they have that camera. At least they can get into the site a little bit safely. Yeah, let's see how this one works out. Already going to clear the util. Hero was marvelous on Haven playing Cypher. Really, really quite spectacular at it. But now he can't do too much from this. He's already cornered off from the site. The spikes are already down and they've got numbers. So he's just to wait for the rest. But Tomasi already keeping check on the back line. Going to note where that remaining player is. They've got to know Hero was around here. But he gets the timing just right. Martin's gone down and now suddenly the HP's a problem. Magnum on 15. Shin, a little bit of chip damage too. But Magnum has let Alpha slip the net. Surely you're real worried about that one. But Hero going to find Shin and it's all on Magnum now. Position noted earlier. The flash in the right place. And he's got Alpha and Hero on the other side. Hero, just gonna hold the angle. The Magnum has to test his patience. See if he's got the steel for this one. And the timing on that, oh, he got a chance on it. Second time of asking, he's isolated the fight. This is still doable. Oh, he just went early. Paranoid, the defuse was there. To bring in that back line, about to be pressured too. Flank on the way, information found. But look at the stall here, lovely. Now the flank though, Boaster gets his man down. That's Tomasi gone. Follow up not there, but Fnatic flooding the site. Gorgeous retake, stunning synergy. That's a tick in the box. That, this needs to initiate this retake. Yeah, but the smoke just went up, it makes it tricky because Martin hasn't been checked on. He's got a chance to ruin all of this one, just holding his breath, but it's Shin from behind. Gonna find Boaster and Alpha. Martin still waiting, just his presence alone is a problem, but Hero still there. Time starting to tick though, and they fall away towards main, but Hero gonna catch Magnum in the heels. Tomasi and Narate back to the wall now. But the time's on their side, but Dirk is paint shell. Gonna take away Narate. No time. Still on Tomasi, but the time, they're out of it. He's done enough. And, and Casey don't follow up with their push towards CT. It could have been an exchange of space, but they then sit back towards more a standard hold here. Three on site and two off towards elbow. Narate waiting on that push to come back in, and right above his head, he's got support there, but it's Dirk to break back in with two on the flank. Magnum then following suit by falling. It's all on Shin in a 1v4 now. Three, hold on. HP's a little low, but too many sides, too many angles. Checked on him yet, and they're gonna get a terrible surprise. The poster is right behind them. A quick pickup on two. Martin gonna quickly grab that rifle if he can. But now the plant's the problem. How do they get this one back? As soon as Durka gets here, he's got double satchel. He's got his rocket, the showstopper. Comes an early stun, but the repositioning from Tamazi. Tamazi, this is everything. It's all on you here, really. Martin's just got to try and keep him guessing, keep him busy. Perfect from Tomasi, catching the heels. And Alpha's attention has to swing back around. Wait, this so close. Wait, this oh, that was down to the wire. Three takes, we've talked about that pressure. How good Carmine Core have been doing this. They've got that read on Fnatic now. They're starting to get a bit of a grip on what they're up to, getting a good read on it. The flash, the Extension. ult. Again, they're just pushing this. Carmine Core taking the fight to Fnatic and Martin. Fantastic impact already, but a 3v2 is not impossible. Shin, Tomasi, and Magnum in the post plant now. 
Most up with everything to put into investment there. That site cleared. But they've got to deal with this back line. Really tricky. Look at it. Still utility in play. How do they pry these players out of these positions? I don't know if they can. Running low on time. Got to make a go of this poster. Has to find a fight here. Has to find a body. Maybe two if he can, but he only gets traded out in the end. And the time's gone. And so have Durka's chances. It's time to back away. Carmine Core, come out. All. But they're still going to find they resistance. Gonna run into them? They're going to. The flash is so close, but Dirk is so damn good. Two what quick kills, and Carmine Core are left just, uh, you know, torn asunder. Tomasi and Martin, this fake sadly now feels very readable. It feels very obvious after Dirk had destroyed half of their team. Now they're being cornered in towards B. They do get a plant at the very least, but we're going to need masses of impact. And Martin, uh, I mean, I don't know if he got spotted on that. Tomasi doing. Much yeah, now they know. Oh my god, there's nowhere to go. The utility work from Fnatic is so all-encompassing. Cleared. Hero catches them. No more success. Durka with a belting round. They're just going to take these fights through market. Oh, this is so risky, though. It's all about timing now. Chronicle still good for his. Takes away Shin from this. Now they're kind of being sold out a little bit. That should be a freebie. Martin takes away the pressure from CT. Real. But Hero... I mean, you're praying. You're praying for timing, and you ain't going to get it. The, the ghost more than enough, and an upgrade to boot. It's everything they wanted. Now they've got all the information. It's on Alpha and Durka trying to come back over, but Durka's pretty far away from this. Finally making it through, but the spike's down, and so much to try and clear back through here. Full abilities, both players. Okay, that's nice. That should leave them scattering over towards Pillar, but Martin and Magnum. Pressure here. And a delay on the plant. They're trying to get proactive towards CT, and Shin's gonna find Hero. Already starting to close the gap. Carmine Core turning the screws, hand around the throat sort of stuff here. Boaster does find Shin, so Markin looking a little bit more available for them. Showstopper could be so huge if Durka. Does he pop it? Is. Oh, There's a 1 for 1 trade. You thought that could have done more potentially. It wouldn't have been wrong, but it's Tomasi to find everything. This fight back and forth the whole way through. Martin up against Boaster, Boaster now. Boaster. The offset of the timing has caught Martin guessing, but that's about it. Boaster, Whoa. knife foul on the cross. You're not going to get away with that. Narrate, so another early opening. Fast and A. Oh, that time they read him. Dirk has been doing damage over on this side of the map. This time, dealt with. Now the red carpet gets rolled out, right? Or so you think. Where does that divide go? Do they have any impact? It's Bulldogs, it's Guardians, it's Spectres. It's not what Fnatic would have wanted to bring in, but we're going to need someone to step up. Is it Chronicle? The timing on this now. Oh, he is just hunted down, eviscerated and left in pieces and just holding down the site. You can see the pressure Fnatic are under. There's so little safety. And even Narrate is hunting here. He's hungry for more. And with Martin by his side, why not? The final man to fall is surely going to be Hero here. No, A no. i not going to happen. No way. 28 HP. They are hunting him down like a dog. That breach is done. It's gone now. They're grouping towards B. And here comes the hit. The late flank from Booster through market, though. But look at Narrate. How did he not get more there? You felt he was right on the money with at least a second, and Boast has crept close. It ain't pretty, but it's got the job done. Sight's under control, and they've got a good step towards market. The re-clear comes in through middle, and it's going to be Magnum trying to... Uh, uh. <laughs> True. Uh, you get, it's fine. Just show the end of it and just not the start. It's all good, but a 2v2, and Alpha's got that Sheriff. Magnum going all the way around, and he's got Close the, the door to make them think that he's in market, but he's coming around the world right now. It's all on Martin to make enough pressure. What can Martin do to keep their attention here, though? A tap on the spike, is that enough? It might just be. He's done so well here, but the stun is going to go down in Chronicle now in a 1v1. The time is fine here. Yeah, that could have been a mistake. They're very close by now. Not a secure plant by any means. And you can see the pressure mounting. Carmine Core, they want back in on this. They want their sight back. Martin for a one-on-one -on -one trade. But still, you're looking at the rest of the fight towards Pillar. It's been swept through by Carmine Core. And Hero, oh, what a shot! Has, has he got another in him? Has he got a third? He knows where Nuri is. But Nuri doing the dance, and that's a dangerous man to be tangoing with. Hero still wants the fight, but he loses it. The Guardian sharp 
in Rage's hands. It is who gets who here. Martin on one side, Durker on the other. And it's Martin takes away Durker and they win out that B main control. They expect the pressure through market, but it's Fnatic to win there. So an exchange of space and a quick slip through CT coming out from Boaster as well. He's going to get a fight against Zoray and he wins his. Back towards B main. It goes Fnatic's way. Until then, Magnum can only get one. It's Shin left in a 1v3 and he's far from the site he wants to be on. Fnatic winning the critical left. fights in this one, understanding what Carmine Core were up to, but that valuable win towards Market was Planted. everything for them. Big opening to Mazi, not realizing what was happening until it was a little bit too late. Now, three versus one for Fnatic. Cover going now. Lying up on the site. Shin. Okay, they back up. They realize what's up. Yeah. Like that, that. Play the time. They've, he's got a smoke, but he needs a pick. And Fnatic shouldn't give him it. No, they're not going to. They really tighten that one up there. Got a little close, main. Because by all rights, you're going to. Oh, oh, come oh. on, Boaster. That's blind. Wait, Shin's down to one HP. Oh, the trade. Boaster doesn't even know the damage he's done on this one. But the still, they've been funneling them towards the rate, but I don't know if a one for one exchange was enough. After all that fight towards B, after all that control and casualty towards middle, you were hoping that Narek was going to get you two, maybe more, hold some space, but no. Fnatic now have a plant. And look at what they've got for the post here. You've got Alpha with the ult. You've got Kron with his ult. It's Martin. Hold on. This is dirty. Boombot, he's going to time it and go. Durka? Durka thinks about it. But he didn't think hard enough about it. Martin's won his fight, and now Fnatic are surrounded. How do they use these ults? But you've got Chronicle and Alpha, two dangerous Can players. Three. This could be perfect, the timing. Trying to speed up here, trying to get the fight no. towards the box. Alpha wins it. Magnum goes down. Where's Chronicle in all of this? He's going to need some help here. Alpha is just dumping utility, catching one on the cross. That's the value the Wonder Kid can bring. And Shin on one. There's nothing more for him to do. Time to back away. Fnatic living. The counter stun. Yeah, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. The timing, the setup of it. Magnum just gave Shin the pat on the back and said, go have fun. The paranoia, great. He can then fall back a little bit deeper, refresh the smoke for the one way. Everything looking lovely. We're going to need an overheat almost, an over delivery from Alpha, Boaster, or Chronicle to do something. But Shin's in the way. He's not letting them through. The one way still holds. And it's all on Chronicle now in a 1v4. The door just shut in Fnatic's face. The spike left in a precarious area. Chronicle has nothing more to do here than just keep that rifle. And support's on the way, but there's still a fight to be had here. Magnum can't move left, can't move right. There's players everywhere. The double swing, do they get overwhelmed? Oh my god, it's not pretty. And Hero and Durka make it there in time. All gonna come down to, and that's recovered rifles. Plants in. Paint shell to the back of the site. Tomasi eyeing up elbow. Doesn't get the player he wants. Chronicle in unison. Fnatic fighting back here. And Martin cleared. Fnatic with a response that was exactly what the doctor ordered. Narrates in CT. That cross could be a problem. Gonna see if he catches anyone. I think the smoke was up in play, but it's actually Shin to find Hero. And now Magnum under pressure himself. He's trying to hold back the two players here. Nice timing on the stun, but still. 25 seconds. Fnatic need to get towards the side here, and Shin's still in the way. Spam on the smoke, but it's Chronicle to connect. Shin could be the undoing of this side. Alpha's taking down the rate. It's all on Shin, but that's the spike drop. 15 seconds. Shin strikes. Suddenly there's problems. Fight to the right, fight to the left, but he falls. Darker survives on 30 HP. The timing on that pressure towards market is everything. And now it's go time. Magnum has found Boaster. You can see the pressure now starting to build. The ult does not find what they want, which is a target. A body doesn't drop. Martin's still with his, but they can't get another kill here. Hero is holding it down. This guy is so dominant in this. And Shin, well, he's got a sheriff. What more can you ask of him? A 1v4 is too far. Plants in, and he's dead. Hero having a round. And Fnatic up to 12. That one. Martin's okay. here. Yeah, it's on Martin instead here. then. The smoke will certainly give away some part of this plan. But it's still Boaster finds Tomasi. They don't know about Martin yet. Now they will. Old comes in and he wants to try and gap close. Find him. Fights one. Spots out a second. Oh, he's got another. No. Lock, stock, and smoke in barrel to the brain of Boaster. They're still going. It's a 4v2. And Alpha and Chronicle will now just Alpha. His last alive. 
And he's got to be screwed, surely. 13 seconds. Another tap on the spike here. Here comes the ult, though. He's he avoided it. No. no, he doesn't. He catches him. And so does Shin. It's going the distance. 12-12. Now they need a plant, though, because they're getting surrounded. Or they need to take some space back. They can't have no space to play with. Magnum with a quick find towards Chronicle. But the trade to there. Fnatic getting two back. It's leaving Shin and Narrate in a 2v4. These two are certainly capable, but this is a lot. On to come in. And didn't feel right, he didn't like it. Going for a safer plant, potentially. Might get caught on the way out, though. All right, holding towards Boba, but look at the map. It's getting closed in. It's being boxed in. Boaster survived the firing squad earlier. Shin. Shin's surely dead here. Oh, he's in the smoke. And the rates found Alpha, but they don't know about Boaster. Oh, my God. You don't normally get two chances at those sort of things, but Shin still lives. He's been managing to dance around the smoke, but he's been found. Hero stepping up. Red Seconds, dead. really, at this point here. And Durka going in. I mean, looking to try and cap... No way! Oh, my God! Surely not. Down. That little disconnect, that little bit of off time and that little offset, but it was Shin who hits a worldy shot. I'd love to see that from both perspectives, because that just felt like it was fated to work out for them, but no. And now Hero and Boaster kind of trailing through an unfavorable fight on the A site. Carmine Core might have done just enough from that one left. interaction to get themselves to a double OT situation here. Magnum again gets that layer of contact falls away, sits deeper on CT, makes them work for the space they want to take. Look at his util as well. He could buy time. Seconds. 17 seconds now. The clock starting to become another enemy. Feeling like you're up against six players rather than the five, and they have to keep working. Another flash to be sent through. Another set up for Narrate, and they know where that final player oh. is, and it's a flashy finish. Buster only needs to look here. Oh my god, Ron has played him in. It's perfect. It's lovely synergy between the two, but he didn't expect the player coming out tiles. That's going to be Narrate, evening this up to a three apiece. Big trades, three on three, and already Tamazi has the space towards A. He's calling his teammates over. He cannot overextend. How far do you go? Do you just hold here? This is you far just, enough, yeah. yeah. That, that should be the oh, and the snap back towards Sean. He didn't expect Alpha there as well, but still, he's given away the position here. He knows now. Oof. Yeah, Sheesh. you and me both, audience. <laughs> 30 um, seconds left. Timing on that. No cypher oh, for attack. That flank is wide open. Look at these ballsy players. How they were considering, they were thinking about it. Smoke, well, they don't. Smoke the plant. You have to. Cover going out. Smoke goes plant deep. The spike. Uh, running real low on time here. Getting a bit nervous about this one. You've been in all your faith in Narrate, and a good player for it, but still, Hero's found Narrate, and it's all on Shin. He's trying to be slippery on the site. I kind of like it. Just keeping him on their toes a touch here. But eventually slipping back to that standard back box, but they're both coming in from the same angle. I'd be scared. I wouldn't give Shin a 1v1 for the life of me. Five seconds on the smoke. He's got another! A 1v1, but it's Hero again! A little bit of an unorthodox route, but they get there nonetheless, and the plant's going to be in. Trip is watching the flank. Here comes oh the extension of Smudge. Shin again. Shin, how does he keep doing this? It's like Shin and Hero. Who's going to go big this time? Flank does not work out for Carmine Core. Tomasi falls down. So now they've got a bit of safety to play from, but Carmine Core needs to flood this site. Or it's a lineup towards map three. But the trades is still a 2v2. And time, there's still a little bit to play with. You've got Alpha on the side, Boaster to the left, Shin creeping closer. Step by step, does he get the thread the needle? He's been spotted, he's been taken what? down, Alpha! Sprays and he gets his man, Martin falls. What a chance. They need to be able to show that again. And all, it's to a great start already. First pick, that smoke's gone as well. That's, that's it. Out of all the players to get, that's a pretty good one. Um, Chronicle can still help them out here if they if they really need it, and I think they kind of do now. But still, first blood drawn. You are happy with that? Fnatic gonna have to approach this with only four. Martin, perfect positioning there. Just able to spot as they come in towards the site. Gets out of danger. Hero has slipped a little deeper, but they've noted Chronicle as well. So they're kind of seeing everything here. Carmine Core keeping a beat on every single approach. That trip in position. Just to stop Fnatic from extending five versus three. They want to keep these numbers. Fnatic probably with a free plant if they want it. Tripwire still up. Alpha knows about it. Playing as close as he can to it. Plant is in. Planted. Time on Fnatic's side. The limit given to Carmine Core to start building back in. Now, smoke goes up. Prowler goes in. Alpha's position will be considered. Now he's in trouble. He's got to back away here. He still has his orb he can Whoa, use. Oh, but Hero! Hero! He 
he's just got his pistol and that's more than enough! Outrageous work from Hero, picking up where he left off on map two. The guy's a bit of a god and now a 2v2 and Hero's timing is just right. Chronicle has to stay alive though, he has to play it again? perfectly. Are they even thinking about it? Magnum did for a whole second here. So oh, he's what a low. shot! Oh, oh. Shit. He's on nothing! He's on nothing! Oh! Want to deal with the vast majority. The paranoid going in. He's in trouble here. He turns the flash. Still, Prowler goes through. Okay. Look at all of this. How is he alive? How is he? How? How? How has he done that? Magnum will be kicking himself. Finally, he falls. Alpha. Perfect positioning to disrupt this. They have no idea. But he only gets one. I thought he could have gone more there. But Narate on the trade and is still very much in the realms of reality. A 3v3 for the time sign of the tick here. Narate, Martin, trying to hold this down. Boaster in a 1v2. He's got to try and get in there and he can't do it. Diffuse is in. Carmine Core. Shin's aware of it. He's got that paranoia as well. He's waiting for his team. He can get a great line with that paranoia for this retake. Prowler goes in, Narrate, he's going to pop the ult. Did he get caught by this? Step, he though. did, Alpha got noted, really nice investment now. Chronicle should get this kill on Magnum, you've got a feel. 5, eight, excuse me, 8 HP was all that he had. So a win on the extremity on either side. But it's a 3v4 overall. Fnatic trying to hold down on the side, but Hero's fallen. Narrate on the follow-up, leaving just both what? Alive. Where are you off to? You're going nowhere! Now, retakes used to be one of the strong points of the newer teams, you know, when Heretics were at their high point at the start of the year. Same with Carmine Corp, but Timing. Darker, this could be a Hello. dream come true, and it is. Fnatic's time flooding the site, and away we go. Darker does get Martin down, 2v2. Hero still with a Frenzy, and Dirk with a Bulldog. This is where it gets difficult. They've got a step, yes, but they don't have the full sights under wraps here. Hero has found Shin. It's on to Massey, the 1v2. He's got the first fight, but he needs the second. And time, he's got a bit of it. But the upgrade for Hero, the 1v1, he wins it, Hero! Make sure no one's coming through. Flank under wraps, but Alpha's still gonna keep going on this because Shin just took down Hero. It's three players left alive for Carmine Core. It ain't safe just yet, and the plant's still not there. Get that orb before the plant and you can get your lockdown, but it's too late for that. They need to look to stabilize elsewhere. Shin's got a rifle, Martin's got a rifle. Sheriff on Magnum, classic on the raid. Dart and Haunt only kind of saving graces in this opportunity. The late flank from the oh. Omen. Oh, with the spam, that works. Yeah, job two. done. That's a step in. That's down to two players now. Chronicle and Boaster. Chronicle just waiting on the edge here. Oh, oh okay. A classic. Narrate runs and guns, and it's Boaster left. One to the right, two to the left. He's got the first. He needs the two follow-ups as well. So much for the IGL to deal with. So much on his plate. He has to oh, stop the okay. Oh, he gets it, and he gets to dip away. Try to do the dodge. Try to get out. Oh my God. Run in, Boaster. You gotta get there in time. Left. He's still sitting. That He's probably, still breathing. He's still standing. Nothing. They're going in and they have no idea what's around the corner. Discipline showed, and it's a massacre! Martin taking down four. Patience pays dividends, and we are tied up again. People still alive, so that's where you got to keep your mind ticking towards. And Alpha diving in. He's picked up Surely the Bucky. Not. He's holding the line. He's got Surely one. Not. He's got two. He goes down, but what a moment for Alpha to make this possible, to make it doable. Okay. The Chronicle's gone, and now Boaster and Hero got a step up and they can't time? do it for the time they've done enough they bought the time they bought those precious seconds but they're down to 30 There's seconds no and magnum's watching the cross he's seen at least something he knows what's happening narrate gonna catch durka trying to secure that space plant's gonna come in but fanatic's down to four players both are trying to re-establish some space control some of this map but it's not a clean shot to start with White can't swing. mind core so close here it's a two for one trade out fanatic still holding on to this but look at the hp heroes down low chronicle that ain't pretty but he turns it in time hero helping him out a 2v2 I'm still ticking. Alpha yet to really show his hand in this. Hero keeping all their attention. He has to finally give away the game. It's a spike, peak. but They're no not. impact. Alpha doesn't care. This guy's ice cold. Oh. That's what you want from the Wonder Kid. But now Martin in the 1v2, it ain't easy now. Alpha wow. shutting it down. Got a pain shell too, but Chronicle doesn't seem... Oh Durka, my God, Alpha solo too. Yeah, this isn't a comfy post plant. Look at the HP, you're right. And Doka gets just spammed out, cleared out, and now they're down to three. Alpha still sitting on 27 HP from that early damage that came in from over towards Mound. Chronicle. Oh! That's the Chronicle you wanted! The sighting of that absolute Clear? nuts potential, and now Shin. He's got two players to deal with who are doing dirty things to him. Oh, he's been outdone almost. No, he still lives. Hold on, Shin. Are you serious? Are you serious? Chronicle. You thought that was going to work against him? <laughs>
50 seconds left. Stalled out by this Viper pit orb. But they're walking out A right now. Chronicle. Trigger discipline. Follow up two. Follow up. Uh, yeah, he got it. He got it in the end. Two Fight versus five. A. Right now, Fnatic looking like they're closing this round out. No problem. Shin putting up a good effort here, but it's still going to be... It has to be monumental, left. right? If Magnum wants to turn this, it's a 1v3 with 25 seconds. And you can see... Oh, Hero. Hello. Okay, a nice try. But nice tries don't get you anywhere at this point. Fnatic... It is not a question of... Oh, doesn't take the shot. Booster oh. goes down to Martin. Okay, chance made, opportunity open. Where do they go now? They can't get stalled out here. They can't get the wind taken out of their sails. They have to keep taking that space. In their way, though, is the man of the moment, Chronicle, who's been nasty. He's got the pressure on him, but he looks ice cold with it. Chronicle to the left. Got Five again. to second. You can't get past him. Finally falls and is out for a 1v3. Carmine Core desperately Planted. need this round. Dreaming of that fifth round. Spots one, but yeah. get spotted. Damage is good. Oh my god, why does this feel so dangerous? The flank narrate. That's gotta be it. Okay. Alpha's gone down. Carmine Core make it up to five. Yeah, using the ult to clear back through, they're gonna see at least Alpha. Gonna spot out Chronicle. They're gonna try and save. He? Hey, shoot where I am, please. Someone catch this guy. Oh, it, Martin. He got lost to the source. What's just happened? He might have let this one slip. They get to keep, they keep the pit up. They keep Alpha there as long as he did. That's ridiculous. A mistake in the final moments. That pressure. Starting to show cracks with Carmine Core. And now they have no access towards that A site. I know it. Exactly. Now they've lost control, but Magnum going drifting forward. Fnatic are just one by one taking down Carmine Core. Stop the net. What's but going no. on here? These are mistakes after mistakes, and it can't be happening now! Off the back, and that's a tilter of a round two. That, that's the one that could get you frustrated, but let's see how they bounce back. Can they bounce back? It looks oh. like a no, because Durka is doing he what he up. does best. Exactly, finally, showing some of that pizzazz, some of that potential early damage done. We're still at a minute 20, and Martin and Narrate are both gone, who are the two heavy hitters in this series so far for Carmine Core. Shen coming over, he needs that Vandal pickup. He's on a Spectre right now. Two smokes up though, three versus five. It's not the first time we'd have seen a three versus five win this round, this game. But pressure without dying is the name of the game for KC. And, and if this is an individual effort for Magnum, I don't think it's good enough. He's, he's trying to draw their attention, sure. But what's the end goal here? He's trying to keep them on their toes, pivot around potentially. The Prowler gonna come in, doesn't make it far enough. They've cleared B site. Oh, he doesn't get, Tamazi doesn't get through the door. He's stuck B-side. You have to open it one more time. And the smokes come back up. They either try and disrespect the smoke, run through, or they wait it out. Dirk has got Showstopper. Oh, and they Here try and comes. walk in. This is just nail in the coffin. Oh, oh what? Dirk, how are you bending? It's Guardians, it's Stingers, it's Sheriffs, but there's ults. But well, they have to come up against the anchor that has been a nuisance, a problem. But that was a great idea. Martin can only do so much. Alpha. But Alpha, he's still alive. Alpha. Oh, he's got three. And now it's down to Shin and Narrate to try and hold on, to keep hopes high. But Boaster, Boaster. finds his man. That's Narrate down, and it's all in one man's hands here. The test to see if you're worthy of champions, to see if you could take those steps to get to Korea, and this sounds like a fail here for Carmine Core. Fnatic guarding that gateway to champions.